example 2. Here I am going to discuss a reducible Markov chain. Here also we have a only two states. The probability of system is moving from state 0 to 0 in the next step it is the probability is 1 and the system is coming from the state 1 to 0 in one step that probability is 1. So, this is a state transition diagram of a time homogeneous a discrete time Markov chain. So, I am going to write what is the one step transition probability matrix for this state transition diagram or for this discrete time Markov chain. So, 0 to 0 one step that probability is 1, 0 to 1 is 0, 1 to 0 is uh, 1 to 0 is 1, 1 to 1 is 0. You can verify whether this is going to be a stochastic matrix because each elements are lies between 0 to 1 and the row sum is 1 therefore, this is a stochastic matrix. So, both are equivalent the state transition diagram and the one step transition probability matrix is one and the same. Now, we will try to find out what is the classification of the states. Go for the state 0, the p 0 0 of 1 that is 1, that is one step uh, transition of system is moving from the state 0 to 0 that is going to be 1. This implies the state 0 is a absorbing state. Now, we will try to find out what is the classification of uh, the state 1. So, if you find out f 1 1 of 1, what is the probability that the system will come to the state 1 given that it was in the state 1 and the first time we see to the state 1 exactly in the first step. So, that is going to be not possible because with the probability 1 it moved to the state 0 therefore, this is going to be 0. And if you find out E f 1 1 of uh, all the subsequent uh, steps also that is also going to be 0. Because uh, if the system start from the state 1 in the next step itself uh, it goes to the state 0 with the probability 1 and it is not coming back. Therefore, now you try to find out what is a capital F 1 1 that is nothing but the summation of all the f i's summation of all the f i's and that is going to be 0. If you recall uh, the way we classify the state is going to be a recurrent or transient we said uh, f i a is going to be 1 or f i a is going to be less than 1. So, that less than 1 includes f i a is equal to 0. So, basically our interest is to classify whether with the proper distribution the system is a coming back to the same state with the probability 1 that is f i a is equal to 1 and all other things we say that is a transient state it includes f i a equal to 0. So, here with the probability 0 the system is not coming back to the state 1 if the system start from the state 1 this is always a conditional probability and this conditional probability f 1 1 is equal to 0 implies the state 1 is going to be a transient state. So, whenever any for any state i f i a is equal to 1 that concludes the state is going to be a recurrent state and whenever the f i a is lies between including 0 excluding 1 that is less than 1 then that state is going to be called as a transient state. Since uh, the close since you have uh, only two states that is a state space is uh, 0 and 1 and uh, you land up having a 1 absorbing state and 1 transient state therefore, the state space is a partition into one closed communicating class which has only one element and the transient state is 1. Therefore, I can say the state space S is a partition into closed communicating class C 1 
which consists of only one element and the collection of all the transient states that is only one element. So, this is a notation for capital T collecting all the transient states in the state space in the DTMC and C1 is the first closed communicating class and which has only one element. If any closed communicating class has only one element, then it is going to be called it as observing state. Therefore, 0 is observing state and 1 is a transient state. Since you have a C1 union T becomes a state space S, therefore, this Marco chain is not a reducible, irreducible Marco chain, therefore, this is called a reducible Marco chain.